Are you someone who learns a lot of new words but still fail to secure good bands in your IELTS writing task? Have you been confused about what exactly the examiner is looking for in your IELTS writing task too, that is essays? Awesome! Pat on your shoulder for clicking the right video. Yes, in today's video, we are going to learn 9 vocabulary tips that will help you improve your writing score, that is IELTS writing task 2 band score. Hello everyone, this is Yesha Manik, your IELTS expert with IELTSmaterial.com helping you to write correct answers and get a higher band score in your IELTS examination. If you find this video helpful, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe IELTS Material YouTube channel. Now let's learn the 9 tips to boost your score in IELTS writing task 2. Tip number 1 learn context specific words writing context specific words or topic specific vocabulary is the most important tip to understand or to improve your band score in IELTS writing task 2 to start with the strategy start collecting the new words find the meaning and the definition and also practice forming sentences of those words Let's consider the topic education and for that the related words would be number one literate that is the ability to read and write. Number two curriculum the group of subjects learned in a college or school. These are topic specific vocabulary or in my words I would say technical words and it is very important in essays that we write topic specific vocabulary and this is the first step that you need to follow. Tip number two, use advanced alternatives of conjunctions. We generally use conjunctions that is basic conjunctions like and, but, or, so to build compound and complex sentences. Instead, we should start using advanced conjunctions. Let's see a few examples. Instead of using and, use in addition, furthermore or moreover. Instead of using but, use nevertheless or however. Instead of using or, use um, otherwise. And instead of using so, use hence, therefore, as a result, so these are the different types of advanced conjunctions which can be replaced with the basic ones. Tip number three, use collocations. Collocations are the natural combination of words that are closely affiliated with each other. These provide precession in the ideas that are expressed in the essays. These can be made with a combination of adjectives, adverbs, nouns and prepositions for example heavy rain round of applause medical sciences musical interest come to a conclusion to make a substantial difference these are various types of collocations and these if used in essays it is definitely going to help you increase your band score to a greater level if you want to improve your writing skills, then please check the video link in the description box. Tip number four, start using phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs are generally used by native speakers in spoken language and many of the phrasal verbs are also used in written language. Students avoid these words because if they do not understand the meaning, they would definitely end up in losing the band score. And that is why students never indulge in using phrasal verbs. But a few of them can be used in writing essays. And as I said, using different vocabulary is definitely going to help you increase your band score. So how these can be used? These can be used as alternatives of a few basic words. And instead of using those basic words, phrasal verbs can be used. 
here are a few examples that can be used in IELTS writing task 2. Number 1. Call off means cancel. Instead of using cancel, students can use the word that is a phrasal verb call off according to the sentence and using it in the correct verb tense. Example number 2. Handout means distribute. Example number 3. Bring about means cause. Example number 4. Breakdown means explain. Tip number 5. Limited use of idiomatic words. Generally, I advise my students not to use too many idioms or colloquial expressions. But a few idioms, that is formal idioms, if used in essays, they would definitely make a difference in your writing score. There are a few formal idioms wherein you can make a list of them and use them according to the correct context. These are advised not to be used because these are also called as memorized phrases. So, you can use one or two idioms in your essays and not more than that. I would give you a few examples of formal idioms. The examples are number one, A means to an end, a way of achieving a goal, widespread computer use, to say that People use computers worldwide. To be out of condition. To be in a bad physical condition. To meet a deadline. To finish something within the time limit. Since time immemorial, something has been happening for an extremely long time. Tip number six. Connecting ideas with connectors. You definitely must be knowing about a marking parameter that is coherence and cohesion where it is advised to show the connection between ideas as well as the whole of the essay. So how do you show the connection? The connection of ideas is expressed with the help of connectors. Using connectors is definitely going to help you get your 25% of the score that is the overall score related to coherence and cohesion. Connectors are called as linking words or discourse markers that help you sequence your ideas in a coherent manner. Let me give you a few examples of connectors. You can use despite, in spite of, although, however, in addition, on one hand, on the other hand, in conclusion, on the final analysis, all in all, in short. So these are the different types of connectors used in context of introduction, body paragraphs, as well as conclusion. Tip number seven, learning synonyms. This is the second most important vocabulary tip from my side, as I always suggest my students not to use the same type of word frequently in your essays. It is emphasized by the examiners that repetition of words would definitely give you a band 5 in your IELTS essays. So always try to present a variety of words which means the same. So for example, instead of using important every time in the overall essay, you can use imperative, you can use vital, crucial, significant. Um, instead of using essential, you can use necessary, most important, very important and also instead of using words with very. For example, very happy, you can use the extreme adjective that is wonderful. Instead of using very cold, you can use freezing. Instead of using uh, very hot, you can use boiling. These are different ways of expressing your essays with advanced vocabulary. So what should you do? You should again make a list of words and collect a few synonyms which mean the same. Tip number eight, avoid using contractions and abbreviations. This is 
an imperative part to be learned as essays is always to be presented in a formal language and formal language do not consider the contractions as well as the abbreviations so you should not use don't you should be using do not you should not be using can't use cannot and also avoid using abbreviations for example mnc right multinational company do not use etc use different categories and then end it up with a conjunction and do not use i e that is that is so write in the full form that is do not use ngo use non government organization so it is advised not to use contractions as well as abbreviations in essays because essays are argumentative or descriptive way of presenting your ideas wherein it is to be written in a formal manner if you want to learn from our expert trainers visit our website ielsmaterial.com book a free demo and register yourself for one on one sessions tip number 9 avoid using slang language colloquial language or slang expressions are always to be restricted in writing essays especially in ielts so do not write kids write children do not write stuffs write materials things and many others so instead of using slang language always use good way that is formal way of presenting your essays there are many ways of knowing about slang language or slang words make a list of slang words and start avoiding them in your essays so instead of using slang words you should be using formal words these nine vocabulary tips will definitely help you in getting a great band score in your ielts writing task 2 if you really want to increase your band score especially in the ielts essays that is writing task 2 then follow these tips and do let me know if you really get a good band score in your ielts test if you feel that this video has helped you then don't forget to like share and subscribe ielts material youtube channel we would definitely come up with more strategies in our future videos follow ielts material youtube channel for more free ielts learning and stay updated thank you bye bye